Today I'm making white chocolate raspberry cheesecake. Some of you may know that I'm not the biggest fan of cheesecake. This one is the exception. This cheesecake is special to me. I made it when I proposed to my wife. Chocolate Oreo cookie crust, white chocolate and raspberry in the cheesecake. Who can say no to that? We're just making a quick crust, raspberry sauce, melting down some white chocolate, adding it to some cheesecake batter, and decorating it. You can press the CC button to turn on subtitles or check out the full list of ingredients in the video description. We're starting off with our crust and for a 9 inch springform pan, you'll need 1.5 cups of Oreo cookie crumbs, 4 tablespoons of butter, melted, and 3 tablespoons of sugar. Pour the butter into the cookie crumbs, along with the sugar, and mix thoroughly to combine. You know how I gave you measurements for a 9 inch pan? Um. I'm using a 10 inch and I thought it'd be okay. We'll come back to that. Dump in your crust mixture, spread it out, and pack it down. I definitely needed more. So I mixed up an additional cup of crumbs with one tablespoon each of butter and sugar and continued pressing it out evenly. Set that aside and let's move on to our raspberry sauce, for which you're going to need 10 ounces of frozen raspberries, two tablespoons of sugar, two teaspoons of cornstarch, and half a cup of water. Let's add our frozen raspberries into a pot or not? Let's try that again. I'm sure we won't miss those. Add the raspberries to the pot along with the water, sugar, and cornstarch, and simmer for about 5 minutes, or until the sauce thickens, stirring lightly to break up any remaining raspberries. Now we're going to strain our sauce to remove any seeds. I probably went a little too hard on this. A few seeds are okay. Moving on to our cheesecake batter, we're going to need 2 cups of white chocolate chips, half a cup of half and half, three packages or 24 ounces of softened cream cheese, half a cup of sugar, three eggs, and one tablespoon of vanilla extract. I've unwrapped my cream cheese off camera so you wouldn't have to sit through 10 minutes of me struggling with packaging, and I'm adding it all to the mixer. Now add in the sugar and mix till smooth. Now we're gonna add in our eggs one at a time, and my table is way too wobbly to leave eggs on. Oh. I have an idea. So one at a time, we're cracking our eggs and mixing them into the batter till smooth. Add in the vanilla and let's melt some chocolate. In a metal bowl over a pot of simmering water, I'm adding the white chocolate and half and half and stirring until smooth before pouring it into the mixer as well and mixing to combine. Now we're pouring in half the batter into the springform pan and adding in 3 tablespoons of our raspberry sauce, just randomly spreading it out. And pour in the rest of the batter. What the f***? What the f*** is that? Is it leaking? F I'll deal with that later. Add another 3 tablespoons of raspberry sauce all around and swirl the batter with a knife to create a marble look. Alright, so my pan seems to be loose. I'm just going to try and clean this up and cover the bottom in foil so it doesn't keep leaking in my oven. Two or three layers should be good. Pop it into a 325 degree oven for an hour, then let it cool enough to cover with plastic wrap and into the fridge for at least eight hours. Now let's take a look at the damage. I feel like there's always at least one huge catastrophe in my videos. Why do I make cooking videos again? I'm peeling back the layers of foil and noticing that the first layer is stuck to the bottom and I can't get the springform pan open. Seriously considering just throwing out the video at this moment. Alright, so after ripping off the foil and loosening the sides with the knife, I was able to get the edge of the pan off. To finish decorating this cheesecake, let's grab the rest of that raspberry sauce, a bar of white chocolate, and some fresh raspberries. Now we're going to pour the rest of the raspberry sauce on top and spread it out evenly. Make a nice pattern with the fresh raspberries, as many as you want really. And struggle with some more packaging trying to get to the white chocolate. I'm just using a vegetable peeler and carving little swirls right onto the cake. It's a little messy, but that's alright. After all I've gone through with this cake, I kind of just wanted to get this done. And it still came out beautifully. Like I said before, I'm not really into cheesecake, but this one's different. This one's special. The Oreo crust is buttery and crunchy. The white chocolate filling is smooth, sweet, and creamy with an awesome caramelized flavor around the edges. And the tart raspberries fit in so nicely with all the sweetness. 
give this cheesecake a try and make sure your pan closes tight or maybe just buy a pre-made Oreo crust. I would love to see if you make this. Post it on Instagram and tag me at Michael with 4 H's. Also if you liked watching this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to watch another video you can click the card over on the right. I hope you enjoyed my adventures in baking. If you did consider subscribing I would love to have you around and I hope to see you all next Thursday. Thanks for watching.